Well, welcome back, Ear Gunners. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. Well, today, I kind of have something cool, and it is the One Leaf Commander NV100 Night Vision Adapter for your scope. So, unlike some other companies that make the uh, night vision as part of the scope, uh, this one actually connects and removes from whatever scope you want to use it on. Uh, this way you don't have to have night vision uh, on every scope, on every rifle. You can just adapt it to whatever scope you want. Uh, now, the cool thing about this, again, is is I like it for daytime as well as nighttime, but it has uh, it's recordable. High definition, uh, both in 720 and, and 1040. I think that's what it is, right? Um, so again, that's what I like to use it for, right? I'm, I want to see record hitting targets and things like that so you can see accuracy. Uh, though it's always nice having, obviously, a camera right up at the target. It's also cool to kind of see through the scope to see what's going on. So 1080, excuse me, 1080p or 720p records at uh, 30 frames per second. It does take photos as well as video. It does come with the storage card and it does come with the battery. Uh, it recharges by USB. Um, it does have a digital zoom, though I don't always suggest using that, especially you have, if you have a good power scope. Uh, if you keep it just on, on uh, regular and don't use digital zoom, uh, what you find is, is that the resolution's better. Anytime you use digital zoom, uh, the resolution goes down. So my suggestion is use your scope zoom not the digital zoom and the picture quality should be better now today i have already taken some uh, video of me just kind of you know doinking around shooting uh, two inch gongs at 40 yards with the 25 caliber origin and also kind of dialing in a little bit for the new uh, pellets i got for today so i recorded that tonight i'll get a little bit of a footage uh, it may not be hunting something and we may or may not get something on camera that's alive, but um, you know, you can kind of see what it looks like anyways. Uh, it does show either color or black and white, which is cool too. Uh, the IR is adjustable to different levels. Uh, the battery goes here. This is the IR and it does adjust. You pull it in and out, which kind of changes, I guess, the pattern of it to either um, more of a focused pattern or a wider pattern on the side here we do have a little rubber thing that comes off where that has a storage card it does have a microphone or excuse me a headphone port as well this will record sound so if you want to listen to it you can just put in your earbuds and plug it in there again charges by USB um, the cool thing about this too is again it comes with with different size adapters depending on what the outer diameter is of your scope so it comes with 54 millimeter 48 millimeter and 42 millimeters which is what I have on here comes with a cool little bag to keep it in comes with a cleaning cloth for your for your glass of course it comes with the user manual USB charging cable and some little odds and ends, Allen wrenches, new cover for the battery in case you lose the cover for the battery. They automatically give you one. Um, again, it could happen. So, you know, it's nice that they put it in there. And they give you a little bit of electrical tape. I guess that's for um, if it's just a tad loose or you don't want to scratch anything, uh, maybe use electrical tape. You know, probably a couple different reasons why you would. Everything seems to be aluminum, I think. You know, I, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, these seem to be aluminum. This could be aluminum or plastic, hard to say. But uh, as far as I know, it's weather resistant too, to a certain amount, which is always nice. Here we have the focus for it. And of course the diopter does adjust as well. Now this is kind of like a, like a binocular of sorts in which you uh, turn it either way to, to focus it. Now, my suggestion is obviously to, especially if you're sitting in a fixed position, 
is and you're shooting at a fixed target is to make sure that everything is adjusted properly on your scope to make sure it's nice and clear uh, and then attach this now once you have the adapter actually on there and there's two allen screws that hold it on this is removable just that easy clicks into place when you have it in there so this way you could again you could have your scope all set up make sure that it's um, set up for distance and also you know just making sure that the thing is is crystal clear as much as possible and then you can put it this on and then make the final adjustments that you need to make with this so okay on this side we have all the buttons and uh, there's also a menu for this of course in which you can go through and make some uh, adjustments to this the IR button you know the okay button to set it the uh, digital um, you know the digital uh, thing for it to bring it closer or farther um, and also the record button so in on and off it, it gets pretty straightforward but the one thing you're going to want to know is again once you have your scope set up and it's on here and and everything is in focus again you want to take this click it into place and what you'll want to do first is go into the menu section and there's something called centering so what you'll notice probably is is once you put it on and you're looking through your scope uh, you turn it on of course looking through your scope it's going to seem like the crosshairs are way off one way or the other so you go into the menus click on centering and then you scroll you know right and left up and down whatever and you can get everything centered up so everything is you know nice and adjusted properly so when you're looking through it the crosshairs are perfectly centered from there there's other adjustments you know how much saturation do you want? Sharpness? Um, do you want to uh, change it so this way it's a little bit brighter on the screen or a little bit darker on the screen? Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of just basic adjustments. You can go in and fine tune it for your own needs. Uh, so as I said, it does record at 720 and 1280p. Um, again, it has a a three time digital zoom again which I'm not always a big fan of just leave it on the one time and you'll get better resolution the screen inside here is 1280 uh, by 960 that's the display screen inside here which is actually really nice um, of course again diopter adjustment on this side what do we have here IR adjustment again there's a lot of numbers on here I have no idea what they mean um, so if you do, you'll get a good idea. Of course, I'll put a, a uh, link to this and also put some, uh, some things up in the display so you can kind of see a little bit more of what the specs are on it. Again, I said it has a microphone built in. Um, IR detection range, 300 meters or 328 yards distance. Again, I... I'm probably going to be looking at about 30 or 40 yards tonight. So, um, you know, I don't have 300 yards of straight yard to look at here. Uh, I'm on a mountain. So, you know, if I can get 50 yards flat, that's about it. Again, it does come with a battery that's already included as well. The storage, or excuse me, the packaging on this is actually really nice as well. It's a good sturdy box. Everything is protected by, by foam which is nice and uh, again it comes nice and safe safe with no worries about uh, having anything break as it gets shipped here all right so what else do i have to say about this um again you know the the price on this is is very affordable so that's what you have to keep in mind you know can you can you spend twelve hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars eight hundred dollars whatever it may be uh, and get a scope with one built in and is it going to be better you know you'll have to decide for yourself again what i like about it is it's it's removable i could take it off of this rifle put it on another rifle that already has a different scope on it and and this way i don't have to buy a night vision scope for every single rifle i have 
um, or three of them or four of them or whatever. I could just interchange it as I see fit. Um, so again, that's what I like about this. And again, I mostly do this for video recording, not necessarily for uh, night vision. But, you know, listen, that's always a plus. Every once in a while, I'll get a raccoon or something that comes around and causes some havoc. So, uh, you know, it's always nice to have that available if I need it. All right. I think that's all I have for now on this. Again, you're going to see some video of me just, you know, plinking around. Um, and you'll get a, a decent idea of the quality with that. It is on color mode. Uh, right now because it's daytime I will show you uh, at night color mode and black and white so this way you can see the difference tonight when I get that recorded but that's about it again uh, one leaf commander NV100 again you'll find that it's very affordable and um, so far it's working pretty darn good so I'm happy with it so that's it for today Again, if you haven't liked this page yet, please click the button below. Um, look for the link that I also supply for One Leaf. If you want to go and purchase it, they do sell it on Amazon as well. And um, if you're just looking for something affordable that's going to get you to get you through and and uh, give you some night vision and also give you the ability to record uh, high definition when you're shooting at things, I think this is a good way to go. So for now, that's it. We'll probably have uh, a follow-up maybe a uh, video on this down the road a little bit. But again, once I get through with the video tonight and doing that, um, you'll have both available for you, both daytime and nighttime, so you can make a, a good, uh, solid decision whether this is something you're gonna like or not. Again, the quality seems pretty darn good, so, uh, so far, I like it. So there you go. So, until we see you next time, be safe, shoot lots, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. All right, so we're outside, it's nighttime, and what you're seeing right now is about 40 yards away, and this is the color mode in heavily wooded area. I'm gonna switch over to the black and white mode. That's what the black and white mode looks like. I don't see any critters around tonight, but let me uh, let me move it around a little bit to some other areas.
There you could see my bird feeder. I'm going to switch back to color. There are a couple very, very dim lights with my spin targets about 30 yards away. And there you go.